Rostec plans to develop a Russian wide-body long-haul aircraft after the creation of the PD-35 engine is completed, said Sergei Chemizov, head of the state corporation. We will strive to make our own. As soon as we make the PD-35 engine, we will build our own wide-body aircraft, said Chemezov. Earlier this month, First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Manturov said the wide-body and military transport aircraft will have a thrust of 26 tons. He later mentioned a range of 26 to 35 tons for the wide-body engine, adding that the exact figure will be decided later. Although Rostec has officially confirmed the PD-35 engine project, much mystery and speculation remain about the two wide-body aircraft linked to it, the IL-96 and the Russian version of the former CR-959. These aircraft represent Russia's effort to re-establish itself in the long-haul aviation market. The strategy is to rely on domestic technology, reduce dependence on foreign suppliers, and showcase Russia's aerospace capability. The PD-35 engine is promoted as a next-generation power plant for large wide-body aircraft. It promises competitiveness, efficiency, and performance on par with Western engines. However, the exact specifications, testing status, and integration schedule are not yet public, raising doubts about its near-term impact on Russian civil aviation. At the same time, United Aircraft Corporation, a Rostec subsidiary, has patented a new wide-body design. This aircraft resembles the former CR-959, a joint project with Chinese aircraft maker Comac, which was meant to compete with the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and the Airbus A350. Prototype footage circulating online has fueled debate and excitement, suggesting Russia may soon unveil a PD-35-powered long-haul airliner. The patented aircraft, known as FDMS, is believed to use a modular design with three seating layouts. The basic version seats 281 passengers, the extended version up to 320, and the shortened variant about 240. In a standard two-class layout, it would carry around 296 passengers, very close to the Boeing 787-9. This indicates Russia's intent to compete directly in that market segment. The flexible seating also shows awareness of market needs from dense regional roads to ultra-long haul flights. Yet uncertainty remains about the roles of the IL-96 and the CR-959-based design in Russia's fleet. The IL-96, a four-engine wide body from the 1990s, struggles with outdated technology and poor export success. The CR-959, redesigned with the PD-35 engine, has not entered mass production despite its potential to improve efficiency. Experts believe the IL-96 may continue only in niche roles. The future likely belongs to the CR-959, or a derivative. Success depends on overcoming technical, financial, and political obstacles, as well as timely development and certification of the PD-35. Sanctions and supply chain issues add more complexity. Aviation expert Roman Gusarov warned that the aircraft should not be expected soon, as there will be a long gap between the project announcement and a real plane. In conclusion, the new aircraft patent and the PD-35 engine plan are important steps for Russian aviation. Still, questions remain about the IL-96, the CR-959-based design, market strategy, production plans, and timelines. The PD-35 gives hope for revitalizing Russia's long-haul aviation sector, but it will take persistence and innovation to succeed. The next decade will decide whether Russia can regain a competitive position in global wide-body aircraft manufacturing as the world watches closely. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.